Next, we're turning to the climate conference here in Paris. Major businesses are also taking part in the talks. And I sat down with one speaker from the corporate world at the summit. Philippe Joubert used to head Alstom Power, and he's the chair of the Prince of Wales Corporate Leaders Group, which includes major companies like Unilever, BT, and also GlaxoSmithKline. He says businesses want governments to come up with clear guidelines here in Paris. Let's take a listen. We are very happy to be here. It's uh, one of the first COP where, as you are seeing, the, the voice of the business is being heard, not only because of uh, Corporate Leaders Group or, or WBCSD, but also because the CEOs are here and uh, they are conveying their message. What is their message then? What, what are you here to say? The message is quite simple. Uh, the message is business must be part of the solution. Business can be part of the solution because, because good news, we have the technological solution. You used to be the head of Alstom Power, which really focuses on the energy sector. But how do you convince energy businesses, for instance, that cutting carbon emissions, cutting greenhouse gas emissions is, is a good thing? How do, you, how do you use that energy, as you say? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I think everybody now is convinced that uh, business as usual is dead, as we have discussed already. You, you cannot continue to consider that nature is free and unlimited. So everything which is pollution or sending to the atmosphere must be cut. So the idea that technically we have to end up with the emission of CO2 is absolutely accepted. So the, the problem now is how do you put the, the business in the right direction? First of all, receiving the clear message from the politician, the government, the, the, the long-term views, mm -hmm. the long-term vision, and the right rules. Once you have this, you have to build the clear price signal for the market. And you will see that the business will react very easily to this. You have spoken very much in favor of carbon pricing. Why yes. is that? Um, for a very simple reason. If uh, you want to change the business behavior, you have to change one thing, the way you evaluate the performance, collectively and individually. And this you do putting the price of carbon. You will not change the behavior of the business in this area if you don't change the price of carbon, because as long as it is free to send the carbon in the atmosphere, business will have no obligation and no incentive to do something different.